What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and welcome back to another pottery video. So good to see you this morning. Man, it is feels like fall out here. So I just have to share one quick comment from the comment sections. Shannon Newberry left a comment that said her and her five-year-old son, they love doing pottery together and they watch my videos and she's even caught him riding his bike around, talking to his phone, like he's vlogging, going to his coffee shop. And I just like, thought that was hilarious and super cute and just wanted to share it with you guys. So, we're headed in. It's a little chilly. We'll see you. I just dropped my shoe. See you in the studio. Welcome back to another pottery video. Today we are on kill number 26, I think? 26, kill number 26, it's right in there. I hope you're not sick of kill unloadings yet. I'm not sick of them yet, but I'm getting there. I'm about ready to do some other stuff, but we gotta unload it and see what's inside. It's the best part. All right, let's do it. Ready? I haven't seen it yet. This is exciting. Holy smokers. You see that thing right here? If that didn't drip somewhere, that'll be a freaking miracle. But it's like amazing. Look at that thing, that is, do you see that? Can you see that? That is so good. All right, I'm excited to see what's inside. Pretty much this kiln and the next kiln are gonna be like kind of a bunch of random stuff because I pretty much took all the bisqueware that I could find and glazed it so that this weekend I'll have just a ton of stuff. All right, cheers to another kiln unloading. I know you're not supposed to drink and eat in a ceramic studio, but I like to live dangerously, you know what I mean? How's the lighting here? Are we even, are we level? Not as wide, super wide. Let's do right there. All right, a couple things, got a bowl. Nice medium sized bowl here. Got a Minnesota mug in that ocean drip. Very nice looking. Well, I threw a bunch of these because I was running out of time and I was looking for kind of some quick things to throw. So, a bunch of shot glasses or like little flower pots or you could drink little like tea out of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them shot glasses though. But strictly non-alcoholic out of this if you're not 21. Sea green. I just kind of did all my basic glazes in the shot glasses. Some more little shot glasses. So I'll probably sell these at the Art Wander for like 10 bucks. Just looking for some just really that I can make quick, finish really quickly, and then uh, sell for. That's another thing about art shows, is it's good to have a wide variety of prices. Like, not everyone comes to an art show wanting to spend like $200 but they might be ready to spend like 20. And so if you can have things that are really on the high end and you can have things on the low end too, then you can appeal to a wide range of customers. Okay, here we go now. What the heck is wrong? I thought I had, I thought my shelves were like, whatever. That's awesome. Look at that. So once again, I love those finger things, how the uh, glaze just drips right in there and creates that pattern. Super cool. Gotta grind that guy off down there. All right, and then this guy, holy cow. I just like, I love the drips. Look at, look at how drip, drip. I mean, some of them did drip off a little bit, but not that bad. And so, this is still, look at the depth in there, the depth. And how variety, oh man, that is just so good. See the inside too? <laughs> so these are two little handle handleless pitchers. So they so they don't have a handle, but they're a pitcher. So they have a pitcher spout. So this would be good for you can use this for lots of things. If you want to make something in there, 
and then pour it. I mean, they're not big enough to be like a big water pitcher, but here's another one. Maybe a decanter. So this, so basically it's like, I have these finger holes in here so that it really supports the hand for pouring. Those are cool, I really like them. Shout out to my newest patron, Amy Savage. So I know that the kiln unloadings are kind of backed up here, but Amy Savage was my newest patron. So thank you guys so much. So right now I have three and I love all of you. I love everyone that watches my channel. Okay, here's the Canyon Skies Glaze. I think I have about 10 mugs in here that look exactly like this one, so glad that worked. And here's the Canyon Skies Bowl. Same thing, got those drips that go right in between there. Oh, here's a nice, big <gasps> bowl. I love big bowls. That is gorgeous. It's lit, it's wicked, it's brilliant. Thanks for all the words you guys came up with. That was like hilarious, going through all the different words. Loved hearing so many different words for awesome and cool, and I tend to just use that all the time, so. Try and work some of those in. I should make a big long list of all the words you guys said. Right at the end, I made some, some uh, limited edition art wander. So they say AW18, so I think I made like 10 of them. So these are just little cups. So I thought, try to do this, and if they really sell well, then I'll just keep make, like doing a limited edition Art Wander cup for each year. And I love, I mean, it's just super cool with the drips. You know, this, like I usually get them out and they work pretty well, but it's actually not the easiest thing in the world to get those drips so that they drip and then they stop before going off. Art Wander 2018, coming up. I'm setting up all day today for that. Even though this video probably won't go live until after the art wander is over, it definitely won't go live. Okay, a couple more things in here. All oh, these are cool. So these are just little business card holders. So, like I have a bunch of my business cards that I just got printed right here. So they say like, John the Potter, watch me with my information on the back. And so I just wanna have these kind of spread out throughout the uh, Art wander so that people can take them. Yeah, they turned out actually really nice. I like them. So anyway, so that will be like that. There's another one here too, just made with two little handles. So that'll probably holds 20 or 30 cards. Here's some more of these limited edition Art Wander 2018 cups. Art Wander 2018. Art Wander 2018. Art Wander 2018. Art Wander 2018. And then the last thing that's in here is these Canyon, these beautiful Canyon Sky mugs. Nice, I love it. I love like when you leave your fingerprints in the glaze and then the glaze just pools in there and just makes it more interesting. I just love interesting things. We did it, we unloaded another successful kiln, and we got some sweet stuff out. These Canyon Skies worked perfectly. These Art Wonder limited edition, I think those will be a cool new addition to this year's show. Some other medium sized bowls. This thing is like, whew, so good. And then these pitcher things, those are kind of cool. That big bowl. That's awesome. That guy is really cool. And then the shot glasses, business card holders. Comment below, tell me what your favorite thing is out of this kiln. All right, well, I think that's all I got for us today. The show starts tomorrow. We also have another kiln that we are loading. We're gonna be loading this kiln and this stuff and all this stuff. And this big bowl, and up here. So we'll load that stuff in, and then that is the last kiln that we'll do before the show. So that will be unloaded on Saturday. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment below, like this video, visit me on Patreon if you want all the insider information to John the Potter, and we'll see you in the next video. Maybe I should start making musical instruments.
<laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't be spending time on this right now. I just put them all in order of note. So low to high. So we'll see how this goes. It's almost like a scale, right? Okay, I've wasted far too much time doing that now, so we'll actually see you in the next video.